Hello, Jason Niemeyer here again with another Photoshop tutorial for you. What we're going to do today is take a color image and turn it into a black and white image. After that, then reintroduce some color spots back into the black and white image. The first thing we have to do, however, is ask ourselves what kind of a black and white image do we want? Because there's a few options here. Back in the day, long before color film was ever invented, they did creative things in the lab during the printing process of a black and white image. They added iodine bleach baths, selenium, potassium bleach baths, these kind of things to give different effects to the image, e either a cooler, more dramatic effect or a warmer, more inviting effect, just depending on what they wanted. They had to add interest into that monochrome image to just make it more appealing because, you know, let's face it, black and white is kind of boring. We can simulate that effect here. We can go down into the Layers dialog box down here where this little yin yang icon is and we can click that and bring up the hue saturation dialog box. In the hue saturation dialog box we see down here where there's two checkbox. The preview one we want to keep checked but not the uh, colorized one is not uh, checked by default so we want to click that because it's kind of important with what we're doing here. Now if you see these three sliders, hue, saturation and lightness. The bottom one, the lightness one, we do not want to mess with. If you want to adjust brightness and contrast, then go back into that yin yang icon down here and bring up the brightness and contrast dialog box and adjust your brightness and contrast there. Never use this one. It's just not very effective and it just kind of doesn't give very favorable results. We're not going to mess with this at all right now. All we're going to concern ourselves with here is the hue and the saturation layer. Now, if you knock the saturation all the way over to the left, it completely removes all color from the image. And we end up with what is commonly known as, as a newsprint type black and white image uh, that you'd see in the newspaper because you're just dealing with black ink and white paper. So that's what that looks like. It's kind of a newsprint black and white image. I think it's kind of boring. So what we're going to do is jazz things up a little bit, just a little bit, not a whole lot. You bring the saturation back over to halfway because I kind of want to show you what this hue slider does. It's kind of fun. It starts with the red, kind of goes through the orange gambit into the yellow, into the chartreuse, into the green, into the blues, into the violets and deep purples, on back into the reds and magentas. Pretty neat stuff. Now, here's what's re really fun. Let's stay with our hue saturation in the middle, saturation there and go into the blue, just to make sure we're not too purple, not too green, right there in the middle where the blue is, and start dialing that saturation down. Get it to about number four is where I like it. Number four, right there. Oh, that's beautiful. That gives that black and white image sort of that moonlit, evening type black and white look. I really love this. It kind of reminds me of that movie, Saving Private Ryan. Remember that movie? It gives that bleach washed look to the to the image. I just think it is so cool. Let me turn that saturation back up to half again so I can tell where I'm at in the yellow spectrum. And this is kind of how you end up with that sepia look. You just turn the saturation back down a little bit. There you go. Sepia. Now back in the day when they were messing around in the labs and they added things like potassium and iodine to give more of a redder cast for a brownish look. You can do that here too. Go back into that red a little bit, pick up some of that, turn the saturation down, and now you got that kind of that warm, real antique brownish uh, monochromatic black and white look uh, some people find very favorable. I'm going to go back to the blue because it's my favorite. I have to admit, I love that, that blue cast type, cool moonlit. I'm even going to leave it on 5 instead of 4. I, I just love that effect. Isn't that beautiful? Now click OK. If you notice down here in the Layers dialog box, the saturation level has given us our, our own level. And for our purposes, we just want to simplify things and go up into the Layers dialog and flatten that. So we're just on one layer now. Move that image over. Reintroduce the original that you have saved as a different name because it will open two windows of the same name. I have this one as Michaela 1, this one is Michaela 1A. Now we want to grab the arrow key and drag that image on top of the other one. 
There it is. We want to close the first image. You do not want to save it. Drag this back over to the center of the work area and just kind of go up into the corner. It'll just kind of click right into place. You can tell if it's there by going down into the layers dialog box again, making sure you're on the first layer, the black and white one, and turn the opacity down and just take a look at it and make sure it's lined up. And you're seeing through that and making sure it's lined up. Now by doing that, you can kind of see where I'm going here, how we're going to reintroduce color back into the area. We're going to come back up here, and grab the eraser tool, make sure we're at 100% opacity, get yourself a fairly small brush so when we come down here we don't get any of our blue jeans and start erasing that top black and white image. I don't want to get her blue jeans so I'm going to get detailed stuff out of the way first and then I can get a little bit bigger brush and turn the diameter up a little bit and get this stuff away from that's away from the blue jeans that we don't have to worry about and start introducing some of the color back into the image and just spots get a leaf here and there get some of these leaves over here now less is more here you don't need a whole lot just some some real focal points of interest just to make if she had like some some glasses on with red frames you probably want to go in there and do those if have something neat like that I, I don't know um, it's just kind of an interesting thing to do to a black and white image. And, you know, you don't get carried away. Just a few things. With that, we're going to call that done. Again, my name is Jason Niemeyer. If you have any questions about anything you're wondering how to do, drop me a message. We'll build a tutorial for you, show you how it's done. Have a good day. We'll see you.